Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Hershey and Chase experiment. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in our previous lecture, we have already discussed about Griffith's experiment. In that experiment, we have seen that a particular genetic material was transferred from A strain to R strain bacteria. Although the biochemical nature of the genetic material was not defined from this experiment. To determine the genetic material, Avery, MacLeod and McCarty worked hard. They have proven that the genetic material was nothing but DNA. But not all biologists were convinced. If you want to go through these two lectures, you can. Links are provided in the description box. So, next experiment was done by Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase in 1952. They worked to determine the biochemical nature of the genetic material in Griffith's experiment. They worked with a virus that is bacteriophage T2 and E. coli bacteria and tried to discover whether it was protein or DNA from the virus that entered the bacteria. In order to perform the experiment, they grew viruses on two types of medium. In the first set, they grew viruses on radioactive phosphorus containing medium. Here, all the viruses had radioactive DNA and non-radioactive protein. Since phosphorus is the constituent of DNA and it was radioactive, all the viral DNA were radioactive. In the second set of experiments, they grew viruses on radioactive sulfur containing medium. Here, all the viruses had radioactive protein and non-radioactive DNA. Since sulfur is the constituent of protein and it was radioactive, all the viral proteins were radioactive. Next, these viruses were allowed to infect E. coli bacteria. The virus particles were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in a centrifuge. In the first set, pellet contains bacterial cells with radioactive DNA and the supernatant contains non-radioactive proteins. In the second set, pellet contains bacterial cells with non-radioactive DNA and the supernatant contains radioactive proteins. So what can we conclude from this? Bacteria which was infected with viruses that had radioactive DNA were radioactive, indicating that DNA was the material that passed from the virus to bacteria. Bacteria that were infected with viruses that had radioactive proteins were not radioactive. This indicates that proteins did not enter the bacteria from the viruses. DNA is therefore the genetic material that is passed from virus to bacteria. Okay, so this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.